Well, Nooseville boat ramp, looking pretty nice this morning. Doing a bit of maintenance here at the moment, so if you are using the facilities, just be wary of that. But uh, look, the weather is good early in the week, and it's gone a bit sour through the middle of the week, and it's looking pretty good now. So the forecast today is light northerly winds with a sea breeze in the afternoon. Tomorrow's a window, early in the morning, you've got a south east change pushing through Saturday lunchtime and it's going to blow through that. So window today, tomorrow morning, get you ready for that. But uh, the fishing's been pretty good, everyone's catching a nice little feed, but uh, if the weather holds up it'll be alright. Everything's been a little bit tricky. Um, the reef fish have been the most prominent, um, good catches of pearl perch, like I said last week, coming up to this full moon. Now, Reason why not a lot of fish have been biting is the tide situation. This week we've had small tides, uh, metre lows, 1.5 metre highs, but next week, check that out. It's going to drop down to a 0.3 low and a 2.3 metre high, so big movements, big tides, and it's pushing all this dirty water out the rivers and creeks, and offshore the tide is actually moving north, so, but next week it's going to clear it all. Looking pretty good, Mother Nature's going to step in and help us out. Um, reef fish, like I say, some good coral trout off sunshine, they're going to get better over time. We've had a good mixed bag of tusk fish, lots of little grass sweet lip around, and a few big Maori cod, they're pretty good. Spoke to a few guys who went out north, reef and out wide that way through the week, and got good catches of snapper and AJs as well, but um, looks like it's going to shut down for the weekend. Mackerel and pelagics haven't been playing the game either. That dirty water's still involved and funny current for them, they'll improve. The tuna have been getting caught around Maruchidor to Noosa, but they're only small at the moment. I got out to Chardons through the week and got a nice Spanish, hooked it up on a lure and missed a few. So they are there, they will start chewing. Where's all the kayaks? Must be having a holiday. Anyway, they'll come out next week and be on fire. So um, the rivers have been pretty touchy as well. So if you are coming in now the river, check out, there's a great video on Fishing Noosa. It's a great shot where you can see the dirty water and it's a little bit hard to see those banks. Coming in out of the river, inside the river, the, the dog beach is definitely the best way to go. Half mooning, back into the main channel and out at 45 degrees. There's been no swell, so no one's had a much of a drama at all. Everyone's been safely exiting and coming in and out, no worries. Don't forget, call the Coast Guard, you never know. But uh, the river scene has been a little bit touchy as well. With the small tides, the fish definitely aren't playing the game. Lots of small trevally coming in on surface. Early morning is going to be the go for them. Um, the jacks have shut down, pretty much gone quiet. They're going to have a little holiday. They'll be back on in another week's time or so. So keep your eye out for them. Um, Upriver, those flatty have been the best. Definitely on the drift. Um, soft plastics, any prawn lure is my favourite for those. They love them. Um, back down the frying pan, some good whiting as well. But whatever you do, if you do catch a fish, fish of the week photos, bring them in crew. We need more of them. But whatever you do, get out before the wind gets up and enjoy the fish and species. See you guys. See you down at